We definitely hit a lot of uh, bad road here. Wow. Yeah. Hi, I'm Lavi and this is Oli. We are attempting a new Guinness World Record to become the youngest pair to circumnavigate the globe by motorcycle. After riding 3,000 miles across Europe, we are now ready to explore the roads of North Africa. Click the subscribe button to follow our journey around the world and let the adventure begin! number 81 on our around the world trip and we are here in the town of Shami in Mauritania in the middle of the desert halfway between Nouadhibou and the capital Nouakchott. Last night we slept in this house slash tent sort of building with <laughs> <Yeah>. air condition. <laughs> Let's have a look. It's just like a huge massive room and we were putting down our sleeping mats and sleeping bags here where we're just sleeping in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's quite spacious actually for the two of us. So that was quite all right. It was just like camping uh, in a much bigger tent than we were used to. Yes. So that's okay. <laughs> but let me show you guys where we're heading today. Okay, so we are just about here in Shami, a very small town in the middle of nowhere. And today, we are going to be making our way further down this coast road to reach the capital of Mauritania, Nouakchott. It's 150 miles or 240 kilometers through the desert and it's 7.15. So better hit the road, let's go. <laughs> Beautiful, all right. So our first mission for the day is to get ourselves some fuel and try and get some more cash. There's an ATM just here in this town. So we've got to go and check that out and see if our cards are going to work. And then we'll be able to see how much fuel we can get if we manage to get some money out or not. Fingers crossed. Otherwise, we have just about enough money to fuel up enough to reach Nouakchott, but it's going to be a little bit tight if we can't get some more cash here in town. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the streets are nice and empty. It's nice and fresh this morning. Yeah, yesterday this petrol station here was was cars up until here full 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 of cars of people wanting to fuel up it was insane i really don't know what was happening you can see that the sand is nearly engulfing the whole the whole streets i mean look at this little this is like a little car park but it's it's just a sand dune now oh my god This is sort of the center of the town with all the market stalls and things going on. And already there are things going on. Yeah, there are actually. Yeah. People are out and about. All the goats are out and about this morning. <laughs> Good morning, guys. <laughs> Good morning. At the moment it's 25 degrees, oh, which is so quite nice. nice. So, so nice compared to when we rolled in yesterday at 40 degrees. That's why we got up pretty early today and just got going once we hit the coast we're hoping that the, the the temperature will be a little bit cooler but we've got about 100 miles until we reach the coast so we need to get through that before the temperature gets too crazy so here's our possible ATM BCMI so we're gonna go and see if it's possible to get any cash in this town Okay, so it looks like that ATM is not working. It tried to connect and then it just said, out of order, return to the card and that's that. So we will have to go on with what we have. 
which is not too much Ugia, the local currency left. But uh, we'll put everything we've got into two bottles of water and some fuel and then basically just make our way to Nuakshot where we'll have plenty more ATMs. <laughs> yeah, so you can see it's not a very big town here. <laughs> What's this? That's a bank. Dab. There's the International Bank of Mauritania as well. Okay, should we try the International Bank of Mauritania? I think we could try these two, yeah. Yeah. Let's see. Okay, so the first the bank over there didn't work, so now I'm going to try Banque de Financement Islamique. BFI. Let's see if we've got anything going on here. No? This one, this one. That this one. Okay. No, so unfortunately that ATM did not work either, so that's that. We will have to just carry on. Okay, so we put all of our money into fuel, which will hopefully give us just enough miles to get to where we're trying to go. But look at the entrance to this petrol station. It's just pure, pure sand, eh? Pure sand. <laughs> oh my God. I really thought that at least one ATM in town would work, but uh, man. Try three different ones and no luck. Yeah, no luck here. So if you travel through, then make sure you have enough cash. <laughs> we had yesterday still 1,800 Udia, but the money is gone quite quickly here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we'll have to just get, get a new load of cash in Nuakshot and then that should take us through to the end of Mauritania. Yeah, yeah because we normally we were supposed to wild camp here actually. But um, it was so hot yesterday. I needed a, a room or something where I could cool down. It was absolutely, absolutely horrendous. It was so hot. Yeah, yeah, we needed that air conditioning to be able to even get on the road today, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, that's the best we can do in Chami. No cash, but we've got some fuel in the tank. So let's head out of town and uh, Let's make our way to the coast, where hopefully we'll get that cool ocean breeze coming back. But before we leave town, we've still got a couple of sand obstacles to pass over, of course. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Nice and easy. Nice and, hello. Nice and easy. Yeah. of Shami and back on the open road, the dusty, windy, desert open road.
definitely hit a lot of uh, a bit of bad road here. Wow, yeah. we've got sand, we've got potholes. The full program. Exactly. Exactly. Oh, look, they're actually sandblasting. Oh. Wow. Yeah, I think they try to... Oh. Try to do some works, hey? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, they are. They're trying to fill the potholes. Yeah. But I mean, there's a lot of filling to be done on this road. Wow, what a job, hey? It's very, it looks very hard, hard work. Yeah, definitely. It looks like very, very hard work. The fellow with his goats out here doesn't seem to mind the sand. <laughs> wow, it's so misty ahead. Yeah. Yep, yep, There's yep. a lot of wind and sand going on. <laughs> at the moment this is the real desert right now look at this you can just see sand dune after sand dune after sand dune sand on the road sand covering your whole house <laughs> sand everywhere the real real sandy sandy desert look at that wow it's really crazy yeah it looks magical yeah yeah it looks really 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 magical but it's such a harsh place to live yeah, yeah, I mean, hats off to all of, we see the goat herders, we see the camel herders and different shacks and buildings along the road occasionally. And I mean, these guys, they are doing pretty well to live out here, I tell you that. As long as the dunes aren't on the road, then I'm happy to look at them. <laughs> <laughs> it was so stressful just a second ago in this town. Having no money, being unorganized and stupid. But now being out here and just riding along, it, it's very nice and calming actually. Yeah. Thank you, Bangbilbee. <laughs> wow. What a nice road, hey? Yeah, the quality of this bit is really nice. Really and nice. I set the cruise control to 60 miles an hour. Wow. 100, 100 kilometers an hour and just rolling on. That's that, nice. That is nice. This road has gotten super crazy now. I mean, look at these sand dunes. So incredibly pretty. <laughs> it's like there's barely a road left. It's just the sand dunes piled up high. <laughs> and it's like, you could just imagine in one day the road could just disappear. It's 
it's unbelievable. Wow. Wow. We actually tried to fly the drone just a second ago, but our equipment is breaking slowly. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. So for some reason the drone wasn't able to fly and we had to give up on it. We have also some issues with our microphones. Like on some videos we realized that sometimes when we filmed for 15 or 20 minutes we didn't, the, the voice didn't record. Yeah, we're gonna have to do a bit of uh, electronics troubleshooting when we get to Nuak shot. Yeah. Find out what's going on with the drone. Because of course in Morocco we couldn't fly it at all. Um, and then in Mauritania, I was excited that they didn't seem to have any laws against it and I was excited to get it back up in the air and uh, yeah, it's not working. <laughs> Doo -doo. But we'll see if we can get it working in the whack shot then maybe we can still do some more drone shots for uh, the rest of our time here in Mauritania. Yeah. Right? Fingers crossed. Just came into this uh, collection of shacks here in the middle of the desert and they're actually some nice painted ones which is quite cool and there seems to be quite a lot of people around here look there's a purple one a blue one another blue one and a green one crazy it's like a little village but really there's no solid buildings, no concrete buildings in the whole village. Just wooden shacks. Incredible. Wow. Very impressive. So the temperature is rising. We have at the moment 32 degrees. I'm still hoping that by the time we uh, get to the coast, we should be pretty close now that uh, we should get a bit more ocean breeze and it should keep the temperature from rising too much but uh, yeah it is starting to come up isn't it <laughs> yes yes it's now 10 30 and we have about um, 60 miles left we're still good in time actually yeah I mean if we carry on like that we might even get to Nuakshot before midday that's crazy it's pretty good for us I reckon yeah <laughs> you can see some crows actually around as well which is quite funny the crows they just can live everywhere you know <laughs> you see them in my village in northampton and you see them here in the sahara <laughs> yes wow look at this open view yeah it looks like there's some uh, dried up lakes or salt lakes over there in the distance and over there because it looks like water, but there's definitely not any water here, so I think it's just salt. Time to switch on our air condition. <laughs> Still too hot and we've just reached the coast, but it didn't cool down as much as we were expecting. So yeah, it's time for us to wet our t-shirts so that we can stay nice and cool. I can see it already. Oh, that's nice and fresh. It's almost cold, eh? There we go. Almost cold. Nice. Nice. Do you want me to do your back? Okay. Okay. Nice. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. Salam. Bonjour. Salam. <laughs> Hello. English and German. English? 
Inglés, Inglés alemán. Inglés, hey, alemán, ya. Yeah. Hey, yes. Yes, Deutsch, yes. Exactement. Merci. Chocran, chocran. Bon journée. Look at this up ahead. We have a multi-lane highway which is not covered in sand and this means that we are getting very close to the capital Nouakchott the buildings are starting to crop up all around us it's starting to get busier so it looks like we're arriving in the capital of Mauritania oh yeah this is awesome and people actually stopping at the traffic light when it's red <laughs> Look at this car with some sort of polystyrene on the top. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So it's only another 10 minutes or so to our accommodation. We've chosen a place that was recommended to us actually by the place that we were staying in Nouadhibou. Uh, the place here is called Le Triskel. Yeah, so the rooms they cost um, about 16 euro and you can choose to sleep in a tent. They have like a set up tents there already. So I think the price for those was 12 euro. So we have to go there, check it out, see, see the options. But yeah, anyway, it looks like our desert voyage for today is over but uh, it is still 38 degrees at the moment here in the city so it's not cool down by the coast as I expected <laughs> uh, Dibu was like 10 degrees colder than here yeah it's unbelievable over a million people living here in Nouakchott making it by far the biggest uh, place in Mauritania. I mean, Nouadhibou is 10 times smaller than this place. So yeah, I mean, Mauritania is pretty much a country of just one major city. In 450 meters, we have to turn to the right. It's very soon, very soon. Stop here, here, here. here. Okay. So just follow this road here. Yeah. And then here to the, to the left as well and just follow this road and then we should arrive there in yes. just one minute. Okay. Yeah, that's the place there. Le Triskel, I can see it. Ah, yeah. Perfect. Cool. Look at this. Very nice. We're going to go check that out and see what the options are and we'll get back to you. smell it <laughs> good evening guys we arrived happy and alive at our place here in Nouakchok <laughs> yeah it's actually a super cool place it's called uh, Le, Le Triskel and uh, oh this is our tent <laughs> that's pretty cozy no it looks very cozy at the moment, very, very hot. But we talked with one guy and he said in the evening and in the night, it's super nice and refreshing. So I'm exciting for that. <laughs> yeah. So it's a little bit of an upgrade from camping. So that should do us really well. Uh, we're here actually on the rooftop of the place. Hold on, I'm just gonna show you guys out here the view. So we've got Nuak shot written here. <laughs> And this place is super cool. It's got a really nice atmosphere. There's like tables and chairs all over the place. It's in a little walled compound with like palm trees and stuff. So yeah, it's, it's, it's a really nice vibe here. I think we can spend a couple of days and really, uh, yeah, it's nice. And I'm excited for tomorrow morning because check out this. <laughs> I mean, how nice is that, hey? 
to do your business and watch the sun at the same time. I think this is luxury. Yeah, an open air shower, that would be really refreshing. That's nice. <laughs> it's really nice to have arrived here in the capital of Mauritania and um, be able to relax here for a couple of days. Yeah, also we have to uh, figure out some things, sort of some things for our um, border crossing to Senegal, which we're gonna do uh, the day after tomorrow. So. We have to prepare ourselves a little bit. Yeah, I'm excited. It's awesome. So that's it from us today. We hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends and family. We will see you next time. That's so cool. So we went to go and get cash just around the corner from our hostel where we're staying. And um, we got cash out, which was fine. And then we went to the bank to try to exchange money, but they said they didn't exchange money. And then this, uh, this guy, Hafed, he said, uh, oh, I know a place where you can exchange money. Um, it's this place. And we said, oh, okay, how much would it cost for a taxi? He said, no, I'm going to take you there in my car. So he took us there in his car. We exchanged the money. And then after we said, oh, um, we want to uh, get some groceries after the, and he was like, oh, I'm going to drive you to the grocery place. And then we drove us over to the supermarket and we uh, got our shopping for the next few days. And then after he's like, okay, where are you staying? I'll drop you off where you're staying. And we were like, wow, that's that's super kind, Hafen. That's awesome. Thank you so much. It's, uh, we feel very welcome already in the workshop. It's beautiful.